Hello, this is not a spring chicken, yes. Okay, I am in this paint too because, okay, we've been working with 3M's Will Restoration Kit and of course we were kicking the tires, making it all happen today. And of course, we are working on the Kickstarter campaign. We've got some new people that are at it. I'm so excited. You will, be, you will not believe some of the voices. Oh yes, that you're going to be hearing. But of course, check out our Christmas um, is campaign on Kickstarter. That, yes, it's under Christmas is. But you can also find Christmas is under Facebook, Twitter, as well as Pinterest. Meanwhile, let's bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, I know. I mean, but Obama is just laughing up a storm about the fact that, you know, that the Republicans, uh, oh, yeah, the problem is is that he's now behind with women in the country because as, some, as the experts have now said uh, that took the polling, his, his all-out uh, war on women, you know, four days of nothing but women telling how the Republicans were going to take everything away from him, didn't really set well with the people that are going to vote. And the people that he had fluttering out don't vote. Uh, they said that uh, under, well, he may have the under 30 vote. The under 30 women do not come out to vote. It's the married women that do. Ooh, and space. Oh, they do. Huh? Yeah. The SpaceX cargo ship launching new era for space station today. Oh, yeah, basically, it was somebody is just sending their. They, 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 the same thing that Von Braun did. Von Braun strapped a few rockets together and sent a, uh, a satellite into outer space. They're now strapping rockets together and sending a cargo ship up. Oh, they are? That basically, you know, they, they hope doesn't destroy when it comes back. And Venezuela was vote a critical test for divided nation. Well, yeah, anybody that guessed that a dictator wasn't going to win re-election. Now, come on, it's like, why do they even bother having I, I election? I know, they knew he was going to win, and he said, well, if I lose, I'll step down. He wasn't going to lose. They, they made the vote narrower than they did usually do because they wanted it to make it look more convincing. Plus the fact everybody in the universe knows Hugo Chavez is dying of cancer. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're pumping him full of steroids. They're pumping him full of steroids to make him look young, healthy. When he's basically, I think he lost 60, 70 pounds of weight. Oh my gosh! And you, what he's got is terminal cancer, and you know you can pump everybody, anybody full of stuff to make him look happy. And Honda recalls a 2002 and 2006 CRV for fire risk. Yeah, and like 200 and some thousand of them or something. So. And profit warnings means a Wall Street pullback. Oh God, it's a bloodbath today. Everybody, okay. They're, they're, okay, here's what they did. Um, yesterday, the Obama administration justified the 7.8% unemployment by, re they said that, well, you know, the Labor Department isn't in his back pocket. The Labor Department re-advised re employment up for three straight months. So they said, well, actually, when this, when this last figure came in, we were at 7.9% unemployment. And we went down one, we've been going down 1% a month and we just didn't do the figures right. And they said, well, either the people there are complete incompetence or Obama is cooking the books like all the people said they were. And they're, I mean, and market is, because today, with Obama saying that people are being employed, the uh, companies are all putting out profit things for revising re re everything downward for the last two quarters. And the third quarter is even worse. And next, and uh, next 213 has been advised, we went, the profits are going downward. So if the profit, you really, well, we're hiring hundreds of thousands of people as we're not making any money and selling any merchandise. Mm -hmm. They know that that's not true, folks. And profit warnings means a Wall Street pullback. That's right, that was she means it more than once. That's right, well, because Clinton says the U.S. to ease Myanmar import ban. Well, yeah, because there's not a dictator in this world that Obama doesn't try to help out. I know. I mean, They're dictators, not... folks. They're listed on a terrorist list. <laughs> and Freddie Mac wins dismissal of shareholder lawsuit. And it's got to be put back in again because, the, okay, here's the way it works is Obama hates anybody that, have, uh, anybody that owns stocks or bonds and he tries to destroy them all. So his, his people in the court system once again ruled that you have no legal right to have restitution against anybody that sold your stock or bonds. Mm -hmm. But basically, when he's gone, if he ever goes, if they hold the Senate, you got him for as long as he holds the Senate, so. And U.S. general charged with adultery and other sex crimes. Well, yeah, adultery can get you in trouble if you're an officer in the military. There's other sex crimes people don't really care about. It's adultery that, 
That's basically a no-no. Ooh, and Obama flubs the line on Jobs and says he's channeling Romney. I don't, what? The guy is a complete... I listened to one of the pollsters said that every day people are beginning to realize how much of a complete asshole this man is. He said that he's blamed Romney. He said Romney is a murderer. They denied it. He said Romney didn't pay his taxes. They, uh, and then they denied they said it. They're, they're basically made, they've attacked Romney's children and said they didn't say it. Now he's It's, it's like, to, who's running his campaign? Nobody knows who's running his campaign. It's like, whoever ran it the first time did a much better job. I mean, as, a, as we understand, because we're in, the, we're in the Hollywood community, that this all this great line that he made about, he, they all, they're all perfect and he, he made a mistake. Uh, but, but they were reading the teleprompter with him when he was saying that, and they weren't laughing with the president. The people that were giving him money were all laughing at him. I mean, one of the people said, my God, is it too? He said, where is Sean Hattery when I need him to tell people to give me my money back? Oh, my God. Yeah. And SNL skewers the first presidential debate, and Chris Matthews and Big Bird. Yeah. Um, you know, the wishers. Basically, they had nothing good to say about Obama. They had, they, that guy that came out there, you know, the guy that came out to play Obama, uh, where's Eastwood when we need him? Uh, yeah, yeah. And Turkey fires artillery into Syria after shelling. Yeah, oh, they've got, they've got five days of battle now between Syria and Turkey, and Turkey has a better air force than does Syria, but Syria has Iran, who has a better air force than Turkey. So you're, and uh, Iran, Turkey, is basically not the same Muslim sect as the Syrians or the Iranians. So you're looking, they're, they're now saying that they can expect this to last at least a year uh, if it lasts that long because they said that there's no weapons getting to the, uh, the rebels now because the, they said the Republicans aren't going to give them a damn dime until they replace the Muslim Brotherhood that's basically running the show. So. And 50-foot finback whale found dead in Boston Harbor. Yeah, they do die. They, people don't say understand. Those animals die. They just have a normal, they have a lifespan like every other thing. I mean, they're mammals. They only live for so long. They get to be so huge because they have a long lifespan, but they do die. And California governor orders state to begin move to winter blend gasoline. Oh, what the world's a winter blend gasoline? It's basically a, a lower quality because they need to produce it, you know, because they're turning out fuel oil to, you know, for fuel at the same time. They said, I didn't know there was a winter blend. Yeah, it's cheaper. Okay, BS has got something important to say. BS says, it dropped the price of gas two cents a gallon and they admitted it went up 50 cents a gallon last week. Well, you know, they were talking about dropping it 12 percent. Yeah, two cents is not 12 percent. Yeah. Pressure shifts to Biden after Obama's lackluster debate. Oh, yeah. They're actually counting on Biden to win the debate. And I'm listening to one of the comics last night. Let's see. We have the extremely intelligent, uh, we have the extremely intelligent Paul Ryan who never forgets anything he says and can talk for, he basically, he can out-talk Bill, Bill Clinton. He's so long-winded. Oh, or we really? have Joe Biden that can't remember if he tied his shoes or zipped his pants up or not. Oh, Democrats have got problems. Ooh, and Obama raises California cash and Romney ice speech. Oh yeah, well we were we got we were in that basically mess. And here's what they're here's what Democrats are saying. Why doesn't he hold his godforsaken things at LAX, where there's a lot more room, there's a lot of nice places to do it at, instead of screwing up the traffic on the city every single time he comes in, he's coming in again in another week. I mean, the actors are really hating this guy. He said, one of the people, one of them said last night, I had to travel two hours to get from where I was working that day to my house because I couldn't get any, all the streets well, into where I was going. And the part with. of it is they don't tell you where he's going because of security. So what happens is you cannot plan additional time to get there. Yeah, so you get trapped and he got trapped. You know, we had to go all. I had to. I said I had to come in through. I think I came in through Las Vegas off of Highway 10. So. Oh, I love this. California gasoline prices set to plunge as spike ends. No, they're not too. Okay. Two. Okay. Here, here, here's here's how Obama and his Democrats and Jerry Brown, who's a Democrat, also figured out. Let's see. It went up 50 cents. 
we're going to do this, we're going to do that. We're going to reduce the price of gas by 110,000 percent. How much is that? Two cents. Mm -hmm. And that's what it came down. They can't add, subtract, and multiply. I know. They say that we're going to do an immediate 12 percent drop. Yeah, two cents. Two cents is not 12 percent. First of all, I knew they couldn't drop at 12 percent because, well, let's see, if you're paying five dollars a gallon, what are you going to drop at 60 cents? No. Now, here's the, here's the thing is, they said it is not going to come down because the stations that bought the gas when the price went up are going to charge you what they paid for the gas and well, therefore and even, it will not come down. Even if it came down 60 cents, that's still what, $4.40, which is still, what, two months ago I was paying three and a half dollars a gallon. That's right. Which it's is just, still really high. It's just too high and, and they're giving you this bit, well, what happened was they had a margin call on a refinery and the refinery couldn't pay the bills so they, uh, they, they stopped the shipment to the refinery and then the other, the other refineries had to pick up the difference and they charged extra money for picking up the difference. Nobody buys it. There's nobody out there that buys it. I can tell you that some of the highest gas that you'll find in the community is, in the city is by El Segundo on the, at that station, the backside of it is a Chevron refinery. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, it, just because they say that something is, if you're a politician, means actually it means it never really is.